Hey Blender folks, so this is a tutorial uh, for Pro Builder and Unity. I had a lot of requests from people who are already experts in Blender and wanted to get right into uh, using Pro Builder since it's very useful for quick iterative work uh, in that. We'll start with the basics, just drawing stuff out. So obviously you just use the basic Blender tools and then you can either draw out tools or the add and you can change some settings. Pro Builder, exactly the same, we're pretty close. Click new shape, pick the shape type from the panel uh, in the right that pops up draw it out right onto a surface or the grid, and then you can pick maybe a different shape. We have some cool ones, very level design oriented, like stairs. You can use the little gizmos to kind of move things around, set their orientation, pick more, and just keep drawing out. It's real fast and easy to build up uh, level shapes in this way. There's some more interesting ones, like maybe a little arch shape here, something to that effect. One really neat note, special to uh, Pro Builder, you can always go back and edit it. So this is a stair I built previously. I can still go in and change the stair count or parts of this arch and such. Going back into Blender, so editing things. Click to the edit mode, pick your uh, your surfaces, whether you want faces or then, you know, for edge face, the usual, use the standard tools on it to move those around or edit them. Same exact, th uh, exact thing, a little simpler in Pro Builder. You just click directly into them for edge face, the usual, and then use the standard tools to manipulate them. Nothing, nothing real special at all there. <clears throat> One thing unique is that you can hold shift and move surfaces in order to do a quick extrusion or use the scale tool as shift and that gives you the nice quick little inset. So just a handy little uh, shortcut to get you there more quickly. Back in Blender, so you've got a lot of custom, or not custom, but specialized tooling like adding cuts and loops and welding vertices, uh, doing its own inset tools and such. Most are available up in that little top menu that you use or the tools on the left. In Pro Builder, it's one giant panel. So these are basically color coded. Uh, these orange items will open up panels with a bunch of fancy stuff. We don't want to get into most of that for this tutorial, but it's there. Um, up on the web, you can find it. the blue stuff. The blue items are all for selection. So for instance, growing the selection here to all the, the faces on the same surface there. The green stuff will apply to the entire object. So I could triangulate the entire object if I wanted to for some reason or flip the normals on the entire object. And you can see it's ignoring my element selections, the whole thing. The red stuff will do actions to the selected elements. For example, I can choose a cut tool in here and then do that action, it's pretty nice course standard stuff uh, or I can use it for something like bevel if there's a plus on the side that means I can get access to those special little settings just like blender has with its uh, that overlay that pops up so I can do that I don't want it so I'll undo it uh, materials so in blender pretty basic of course you add your materials you assign it to the whole object or you pick individual faces and then you can assign your materials to those particular faces straightforward and of course in Pro Builder, it's about the same. We do have a material palette. It's the pretty standard way to do it. So you can use that. You can drop your materials in there and apply it. This is just a quick way to access them. It's not what's, what's actually applied. And then you can select individual faces and apply your materials to those faces and that'll be added into the mesh. You can also just drag drop if you want. Uh, back in Blender, you have the vertex painting tools. Um, this is one of the things in Blender I think is a little more complicated than it needs to be. But in Pro Builder, super simple, pop open the panel, you can apply it to the entire object, or pick a few faces like this and apply your vertex colors to those. One thing really neat is you can use this to do something like if you switch over to vertices, then it'll blend it. So if I apply a darker color on here, you can sort of fake in lighting or effects, or another really nice use of it is sort of grunge or like fake ambient occlusion using a slightly different or lower saturated color uh, something like that. It's a neat, really neat use case for the, the vertex colors in Pro Builder. Back over here in Blending, UV Editing, of course, you've got tons of options. It's really, really fantastic in, in Blender. Uh, Pro Builder, we have some simpler stuff. You'll notice that as you move geometry around, the UVs mostly take care of themselves. That's what you mostly want in a level design tool. We do have a full, <laughs> we have a UV editor you can use, but mostly you want to use this thing. When you turn it on, uh, that little toggle, now you can move, rotate, and scale uh, your textures right on the mesh itself for the UVs you're, you're manipulating there. So that's really fast and simple for good, quick level design work. It does have a pile of, you can manually manipulate these UVs around, use the actions. You can even render out a UV template for painting on, but again, we don't want to get into that. It's a little too complex. 
tons of stuff in preferences. So go to edit preferences, Pro Builder, lots of options here, including colors and visuals and your defaults. Also, if you go to shortcuts, edit shortcuts in Unity, you can set it up as close as you can. You can get pretty close to Blender, uh, just Pro Builder itself and all of Unity. So that may help you just get more used to it. So uh, you can also export. That's really important. Your stuff is not stuck here in Unity or anything like that. You can throw out to OBJ, FBX, lots of types. Or you can also create, I'm um, sorry, you can edit imported meshes, which is quite useful. Okay, so that's been a real quick run through of how you can hopefully get up to speed running real fast with Pro Builder for Unity as a Blender user or just anyone really. The idea is it's really quick for uh, just simple iterating on your meshes real fast right in the right in the Unity view itself there. All right, thanks for watching and see you in future tutorials.